Hi, it's Mike from Pro Tools Expert, and we're on the HHB stand at BVE, and I'm joined by Jan from NTP. And Jan, you're holding here a, a very interesting DAB box. Uh, tell us a bit more about it. Well, it's basically the complete replacement you'll need for Pro Tools, giving you 64 channels Pro Tools interface, MADI, AES IO, an additional two MADI as options, Danta IO through a network, and up to 48 analog I.O. Also a possibility to add SDI embedder, D embedder. What makes this really interesting uh, is that we have even put in monitor control function uh, on it. So this so is it, an Xmon replacement? Uh, Xmon replacement and a lot and more. And lots more. Yeah. And lots more. Uh, so basically this is the most versatile I.O. unit and monitor controller you will ever find for a Pro Tools system. And so how do we see this in, in a Pro Tools environment? So presumably it, it comes up as a... a Basically, uh, we have implemented the Yukon protocol, so it can be controlled directly from the SX. Uh, we have our software up on our screen, where we, for the monitor control part, we select which control room sources we want, our control room speakers, uh, queue monitors, talkback, all of these things. So basically, you can very easily, from the SX, switch between the different inputs to a control room as control room monitors. And just as importantly, we can also do fold down. So even if you're just monitoring on a stereo set or 5.1, you can just do your 9.1 to stereo or 7.1 to 5.1 fold down directly in the unit. Uh, there's basically a 256 input, 32 output summing mixer, uh, which allows you to do basically any kind of fold down that you, you can think of. And of course, because it's Dante, you can interface with just about, any, well, anything that's Dante. Anything so. that is Dante. So we see customers using it with uh, third-party converters, uh, remote monitoring, uh, talkback, uh, yeah, pretty much anything you can think of. There are now so many different products with Dante interface now, so you can use it for, yeah, pretty much anything you, you can think of. And so even with the single unit that you just showed us, we can have our uh, HDIO for an HDX system, as well as the monitor control, all in the one Absolutely. unit. Absolutely. But then we can extend it with either your products or other people's products around Absolutely. the building. Absolutely. We see it, particularly in post production, we see a lot of people who want to uh, link up different edit suites uh, across their normal network, uh, give them much easier workflow, uh, much faster, and, and doing it that way. Uh, remote monitoring, all kinds of things, they can just do that just across one network cable. So here we are now uh, in front of the S6 and I'm joined by JJ from HHB Scrub. Uh, so JJ, show us uh, and explain to us how this um, new unit from, from NTP dovetails into Pro Tools and into the S6. Okay, cool. So um, on the S6 we've got our, our monitoring section which can then be spilled out up to our monitoring page, taking over the touchscreen. Uh, so up here, we've got source selection, uh, we've got our monitor cues, we've got talkback and control room levels, uh, as well as down here, hardware keys for dim, cut, talkback controls, speaker selection, monitors, etc. This all is preset um, using the software. So am I seeing the equivalent of STEM monitoring, something that what we would have had to have done with, with different software in the past? Absolutely, so um, the flexibility is, is, is kind of limitless. You know, it's um, the way we can build uh, multiple STEMs, be it through the mini DigiLink ports coming directly from Pro Tools. So here I've got my main Pro Tools output. Uh, I've got dialogue, music, effects, backgrounds, foleys, all appearing as 5-1 wide STEMs directly through the mini DigiLinks. I've then also got some analog sources. Um, I can assign talkback, ISDN, anything else appearing, be it on MADI, AES, uh, SDI embedder, D embedder card that you can populate, uh, as well as getting through to your mic preamp controls as well. Uh, all of which map out onto the S6 here. So phantom, gain staging, all that. So moving on to the screen, so presumably then we've got the configurations of how we can actually set up all these different stems that's done from yeah so it's a sort of we've got three main pages the um, the top area here we are setting how we appear as a MIDI preamp uh, following the Avid protocol so you can remote control it just like you would an Avid pre um, the monitor control configuration page um, allows us to come in here and build a custom uh, control room so here I've built my sources uh, I define the width 
Um, I can name them up. And then once I've done that, I can then assign where they appear from a list of all the I.O. cards I've got available on the box. Uh, so if I go, for example, to my dialog stem, I'm pulling that off my Digilink port one, channels one through six as my first stem. As a counterpart to that, then within Pro Tools, and if I pop into my I.O. setup, I've then got my five stems, uh, a couple of stereo returns, uh, and then that's what we're then getting available on the S6. Wow. How are you finding interest in this, in this combination? Um, I think it's probably the best box that we've seen in quite some time. The x one did a job, but it was very limited. Um, a lot of the time, people have a lot of um, digital sources. They want to have more than just the two stereo uh, surround returns, um, as well as more flexibility with um, QSENs and a now wider um, speaker paths. So this is going to be compatible with anything, building so, 9 Dolby, one, Atmos, Atmos, et cetera. Oro, all the rest of it, yeah. yeah. Um, and well, the software just grows and grows. So with every release, uh, they add more functionality that we can then see on the desk. Uh, we've also seen now that it's compatible with the auto talkback function that has just been added in 1.4 software yeah. update. Great, great. Well, thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, this has been Mike Thornton at BVE for Pro Tools Expert.